Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to integrate Firebase Authentication with our gateway. And just a quick recap, in case you haven't watched the previous videos, what we did is we defined uh, our Spring Cloud gateway with our own roots. And our roots are, we have two roots here, two root definitions. One is anything that starts with bookings gets routed to the booking service, which is running on port 8081. Anything that starts with orders gets routed to order service on, on port running on port 8082. And in booking service for example, that we're going to use in this example, there's a single endpoint, which just returns successful fetched booking number, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to start this too, just to show you. So as you can see, Gateways now has started on port 8080. Booking service is running on port 8081. And I'm going to grab Postman. And as you can see, I'm sending the request to 8080, which is a gateway port, port. And it's going to correctly route me to my booking service and return me successful fetch booking, one, two, three, four. So right now it works, but there is absolutely no uh, security or authentication. And that's what not what I want. Uh, I don't want just anyone to be able to call my uh, REST API. I want only authenticated users to be able to call it. And to do that, we're just going to create a quick project on Firebase. So just go to consolefirebase.google.com, press create project, call your project, whatever. I'm just going to call it uh, gateway demo house, for example. And then I press continue. And yeah, just select some account for it to start. So this usually takes a little bit. So I'm going to use the time to start to add the dependency in my project. So if I go to gateway demo and po maximal, I'm going to need uh, Spring Boot starter dependency. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, and then it's not going to be obviously, it's not going to be test, but, and it's going to be OS2 resource server. And what OS2 resource server does is that it automatically validates uh, OS2, and in this case, OpenID uh, tokens, which we will be using. And then I need to, in my YAML, I need to define right under Spring security and oh, yes thank you very much that's it so OAUS resource server jwt and jwk uh, set uri so it's just the uri at which we will be oops at which we will be getting uh, like valid uh, getting our json web keys uh, to validate the tokens that are being sent and this is the uri from firebase uh, or from google from google cloud whatever and that we will be using. So that's actually pretty much it. Don't forget to press this refresh button to actually load our uh, dependencies that we added in PomXML. And then we take a look here. In the meantime, our project has started. That's perfect. So now we want to add authentication here. Uh, we press this authentication. Then I press uh, get started. And I will click here just email and password because that's what that's how we're gonna you know add our like authenticate our users just with an email and password. I go to this users tab, I press add user, and here I will just use uh, admin at example.com and password will be password. So that's it. I add this user, perfect. And now I need to be able to make so first thing to be able to test this, I need to grab the token from Firebase. For that, I just need to know my web API key because that will be part of the URL I'll be calling. So I have this Firebase Authenticate URL here, but it requires a key and the key will be this, what we just added. And you can see it's, um, we're, we're sending here a uh, JSON body which contains email, which is in our case admin, is admin at example.com. It contains password, which in our case is password. And we're telling it to return, to return us the secret token. So I'm sending this and that's what I get back. I'm just going to expand it so you guys can see it a little bit. This is just standard open ID response. But, and what we want from them is uh, the token. So I grab this token and if I right now try uh, I don't know, did I restart my services? I'll just restart them just in case. I just don't remember if I did. So I'm just restarting my gateway. 
And if I right now try to fetch my booking, I get 401 unauthorized, which is correct because I have no authentication here. I'm not sending anything. And just like we wanted, we want only the requests that have a token to go through. So now I added my tokens that I copied previously from my Firebase response, and now it correctly works. So again, if I remove authentication, I get 401 because I'm not authorized. If I add my uh, token, then my token gets validated uh, uh, thanks to the dependency and my gateway lets it through. So it's a really nice way to just, uh, you know, implement your authentication only in one place and integrate whatever uh, authorization server you want. In this case, we're using Firebase, but you could just as easily use uh, Spring authorization server, which I'll probably do in some future video and or honestly, any other authorization server out there. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and see you next time.